attention. Good positive, good positive football. Um, I, I think the girls are a little bit tired from the season, um, but they're trying to play football. I mean, it's quite a bit of girls out there, as you can see. Um, uh, we just got to get the right balance, the right frame, and the right team together. Um, happy that we got a few of the overseas players over here today, which is a great thing. Um, looks good, look positive, you know. Um, hopefully we can do, uh, do something in the near future. You say to persons who may have their doubts of the women's team, because some people don't think women's soccer is important in Marvel, so you say to those? I think um, people need to look at uh, other issues other than that, um, because I'm quite positive. I wouldn't be in this industry. I wouldn't be doing it with the women. I've, you know, I've come from the boys, the men's football, you know, um, to come to the ladies, to see how they're progressing very well, Attention. to see how they're really working hard. I know it's an eye, eye, eye opener for them um, because I'm a, a very strict and hard coach. And, you know, and, and some of them are not used to this hardness, you know. But you know what I'm getting from them is a good, good, positive reaction. I'm getting some good, you know, uh, some of these girls really want to do it, you know. So um, but people have got to be wondering right now because, you know, I was away in Mexico last week. And um, everybody's talking about Trinidad, Jamaica, Costa Rica, you know, Cuba. But they totally forgot about Barbados. Barbados is a dark horse. And believe me, come next year, we're going to show people what we're worth. have a good chance now that we actually have a, at least a year's time to prepare I think once we can train consistently and put in the work on a consistently good basis and just get players to train together I think we would have a better chance than we have had in the, in the past and I think once we can just get a core group of players together and focus on the basics so we can be a competitive side. Um, I think a lot of the girls, a lot of the older girls I've played with when I played in Barbados, so that that wasn't too bad because I already knew how they played. But playing with the younger girls, it was a little, it was a little hard at first. But as we played more, it was easier to get into it. So I think once we can train together, that it would be easy to just get used to each other. I agree with what she's saying. Well, I've never played with any of the girls here, but just knowing that, I feel like once you get the group of the girls together that are going to start and stuff, it'll be good get the chemistry going. Well, today I went pretty okay, um, considering that we know same people for the first thing. Um, the overseas players are knowing today, and it went pretty okay, no trying to gel together and stuff, so hopefully maybe going forward it'll be better. Well, um, as Chanel said, seeing as this is the first time we actually get to see them play alongside us. From what I've seen, they look like they'll be a good addition to the team especially the young lady that played forward with Sheeta. Um, she is obviously a person who is comfortable and accustomed in the position that she played today. She has a lot of good sense of movement on and off the ball and she holds it up really well and she uses that to her ability. So I do think that there will be a welcomed addition to the team. And in sports, right, there are, there are, things, there are teams and players called underdogs and knowing that Barbados is not a name that is out there in the sporting arena, we welcome any challenge. We are up to any challenge. And me personally, and I, I know that the captain can vote for me on this, that we ain't backing off on a challenge. We welcome any challenge. America, Mexico, Costa Rica, whoever. We can show them that we can match them and maybe even outplay them. <laughs>